Hello, if you're watching this video, that means you're asking yourself, do you need to parallel park a tractor trailer? So, when you think about parallel parking, you're probably thinking back to when you were 15 or 16 years old and you had to take parallel park your car and how nervous you actually were. Now, imagine doing that same exact thing for this huge tractor trailer. Super crazy. Now, the question is going to be, do you actually need that in real life or not? Well, the answer is going to be yes you do, but not as often as you might think. So most of the time when it comes to tractor trailer driving, you're either going to be parking your truck in a warehouse, which means you're doing something called an alley dock or an offset back or maybe just a straight line back, or uh, you're going to be pulling into a spot, maybe like at a truck stop or something like that, right? So whether you're parking in a truck parking lot or in a truck stop or in a warehouse, most of the time you will not be required to actually parallel park. So it's definitely not a skill set that's used every single day. However, depending on where you're delivering to or what type of jobs you're going to be driving depends on how much parallel parking you're going to be needed. So this kind of reminds me when I went to New York one time to go see the car show. So there's a car show at the Javits Center. This is what the Javits Center looks like and we're talking about New York City, which means this is the New York City here. And trucks were just parked all alongside the curb. Which means, what do you think actually happened? Do you think magically truck number one went up and then truck number two and then truck number three? I don't think so. I'm sure there was a space in between two trucks when one guy had to go and another guy had to go inside there as well. So in places like the city, uh, New York City being an extreme example, that is where you're going to have to know how to parallel park a tractor trailer itself. So let me give you some quick overview of exactly how to parallel park a tractor trailer. And when you come and be a student here at Driving Academy, which is the best truck driving school in the entire country, then we'll actually show you hands-on on our simulators and in our training yard, which is this exact look like right over here, where we have a whole bunch of time behind the wheel to make sure that you master straight line backing, offset backing, parallel parking, and even alley docking to make sure you're good to go and ready to pass your CDL road test. That being said, let's talk about the steps on how to parallel park itself. Step number one is going to be the setup. There, that means you're going to have to pull the vehicle up straight and say we're going to be parallel parking to the passenger side. We're going to make sure that your back trailer tire is about two feet away from whatever of that obstacle is, whether it's a cone in a parking maneuver situation or the end of a car or the end of the vehicle. You want to make sure it's about two feet away from that vehicle itself, but lined up with that back vehicle. From there, if you want to back the trailer up to the passenger side, you're going to have to turn the, the wheel to the driver's side, which is to the left side. Once you do that, you're just going to get to a certain angle, and we'll teach you that angle when you actually come into the school here uh, to show you exactly what to look for there. After you get to that certain angle, and then you have to turn the wheel all the way to the opposite side, which will be your right side itself. Now, once your vehicle is like that, you want to make sure you keep going to your vehicle straight to tractor and trailer. Because originally you're going to start off with something that looks like this, and then you'll end up with something that looks like that. Once it's straight, then you're going to straighten out your wheel, Make sure you're backing up straight, looking outside both mirrors, making sure that things are good. Once, you're about, uh, once your uh, vehicle is inside the box, the back, back of your vehicle is inside the box, then you're going to turn the wheel to the opposite way, which is going to be, in this case, to the passenger side or the right side again to start angling up your trailer and straighten everything out. Now, if this sounded complicated, that means it is complicated. It's very hard to kind of describe over video, but when you come in in person, we're going to walk you through step by step exactly what to do. We're going to make sure it gets ingrained in your mind so you're ready to rock and roll no matter what. So, if you're interested in learning more about how to parallel park, how to get your CDL license, I invite you to come to the best truck driving school in the entire country. It's going to show you how we can guarantee that you'll get a CDL license. And how that works is we're going to give you over 100 hours of training plus unlimited tries of the test itself. So, one more time, you can give our team a call at 908 525 3609. Or check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.